If you haven't noticed by now, active noise cancelling earphones and headphones are definitely the trend here in 2017, especially earphones, uh, which is a category we don't tend to see A and C because it requires an extra, most likely bulky accessory that's hard to make small and comfortable. Hey folks, here at OS Reviews, you're watching our video first look and a quick review of a Maydone in-ear style pair of headphones with active noise cancellation. As you can see, it includes this extra module that needs to be charged using micro USB, but it includes microphones that picks up your background sound and cancels it out using reverse uh, wave wavelengths of sound. So if you have an amplitude that goes like this, um, the ANC technology in the circuitry will create the reverse, essentially giving you a flat line, which is silence. So it's allowing you to enjoy your music when you're traveling, and if you are always on airplanes, it cancels out the engine sounds so that you can enjoy some silence to sleep or listen to music. So here's the design. It actually is very generic. There isn't even any branding on this, so it's not anything extremely fancy in terms of the sound, uh, but it does have A and C, which is quite important, and it includes also Bluetooth 4.0, so it works as a pair of wireless headsets as well, and it can be paired with any iPhone or Android device without any problems. Um, a lot of Bluetooth headsets claim to have active noise cancelling already, but it's really just CVC 6.0 technology, and it's a light version of ANC, but it isn't the real thing, and it works, but it blocks out only, I would say, 40% of the background sound, whereas something that's branded with actual ANC and has a separate module, separate microphone, and separate circuitry dedicated for canceling out sound is a lot more effective and rated at around 70 to 80 percent um, of noise cancellation so it's going to give you a bit more immersion. Inside the packaging we have access to the Bluetooth ANC earphones themselves. They also include a regular microphone that you can use to answer reject phone calls when paired with it, again a mobile device and we'll take a closer look at the design of these in a second and in particular this module but underneath here we have access to the aforementioned micro USB cable which is used for charging and it takes about three hours to completely charge. Afterwards you get roughly, I would say, eight hours of continuous audio performance. If you turn on ANC all the time, it will drain faster. You'll get about six hours and below. So it's something that takes a bit of extra power to operate. Here we have some silicon in your cell tips to get a more custom fit and an instruction manual printed in both Chinese and English that tells you how to set it up, pair it, and turn the ANC function so off. So we can take a look at the design of these earphones. Again, I wish that the wire here was made out of a flat ribbon wire or was slightly thicker because they seem a little bit flimsy, but other than that they're extremely lightweight. The ear tips themselves are made out of this polycarbonate plastic material and they're also labeled, labeled with the correct left or right channel so you don't get confused. They have a really interesting angular shape to them which makes them kind of ergonomic, easy to grip, and it's sits onto the, onto the insides of your ears, and despite not having a large hook on the outside, it resists falling out because of this natural angle that kind of sits inside your ears. So it actually works pretty well if you are kind of vigorously moving your head around, it doesn't tend to fall out. Still, I wouldn't recommend these exclusively for sports just because they're not waterproof or sweatproof, and also it doesn't seem quite as rugged in terms of the design. So here we have the center piece, which can be attached by a clip onto your shirt or pocket, and it contains both the battery and the circuitry for the Bluetooth and the ANC technology. You can turn the switch on to turn the active noise cancelling feature on, and there's going to be a green light that tells you that ANC is indeed on. And I can tap on the call key, which is also dubbed as a play pause or the answer reject a phone call key, for a few seconds to turn the Bluetooth on. And afterwards, there's going to be a third LED that starts blinking that tells you that it's in the pairing mode for Bluetooth. So you can then turn the Bluetooth separately on or off. And the center here is just for the microphone. You can turn the active noise cancelling when you're done just by a switch, so it's pretty easy to get used to. The sides feature is fairly tactile controls for the volume, which are risen above the surface and easy to tap on. And the very bottom features a micro USB Moving port. Moving to the audio quality next, I was fairly impressed with these. They do have a little bit of static in the background, and with active noise cancelling turned on, it's obviously not meant as a hi-fi or audiophile grade pair of headphones anymore, uh, since it's drowning out the background sound and there's going to be a slight hiss uh, to create that white noise effect. But uh, with the function turned off, they are fairly loud and clean sounding, although, I, like I said, it's a little bit tinny if you turn the volume all the way up and hit higher frequencies. Just using Bluetooth to wirelessly connect to a, a device um, works pretty well, but again, 
as you start getting into the far end of the 33 feet or 10 meter wireless range, there starts to be a little bit more static. So definitely not the most cleanest sounding headphones in the world. Um, so that's just something to quickly point out. But as far as active noise cancellation technology is considered, there aren't that many small in-ear style uh, earbuds with this tech, tech built in and this one actually works really well. It's not as powerful as larger headphones with the same type of tech so this one drowns out I would say around 70% of background sounds as opposed to a full 80 or 90% so you can still kind of hear a little bit of the engine if you really strain your ears but it definitely works and um, when you put these on you definitely have this moment of juxtaposition with the sound outside it takes a little bit of uh, time to get used to and afterwards you are going to be better rested you can listen to music in better comfort and lower volume and it's just better for your your uh, ears in terms of your health and um, afterwards I tried these in terms of answering a phone call and I used the built-in mic it also sounded pretty good um, and I had no real complaints there it's a pretty good Bluetooth headset even though it seems a little odd to use these exclusively for answering phone calls but it's a function that does work uh, which is important so all in all I would say as far as music listening is concerned I would use these for traveling I would use these for general um, audiobooks in addition to movies and maybe some pop music electronic music Music without any issues but if you're really expecting audiophile great clarity in terms of classical music and you're really nitpicky then these aren't the best sounding in this uh, price category but then again it's already fairly in low cost considering all the tech uh, being wireless being Bluetooth having active noise cancellation turn uh, built in it's really one of the first that we've seen that has all these stacked into one you can check out more details about these in our official written review but for now it's been our video thanks for watching here at OS reviews this has been the Maydome Active Noise Cancelling In Your Style Earbuds.